Hi, my name's Gareth and I am the Technical Manager for BG Sync EV. The purpose of today's video is to go through the commissioning and configuring of your wall charger too. All you'll need is the quick start guide that comes with every charger and a smartphone. First step to do is to tech your smartphone and scan step two. By scanning step two, this takes you to our dedicated installer app called BG Sync EV Installer. What this does is it allows you to get into the charger parameters and change the configuration for your Wi-Fi. It'll Bluetooth search for the serial number, which is shown on the reverse of the quick start guide. You'll also need the Wi-Fi passcode and Wi-Fi name, along with the unique charger password as well. Again, this is found on the back of the quick start guide, but also on the back of the charger as well. Once you've sand that, you'll find the scanning of your serial number of the charger and input your unique password for each unit. Once you're into the configurations of the charger, the first step you'll see is to do with the charger server. This comes as standard to monitor, but if you wanted different back offices, you can manually enter things in there as well. The next ones are the charger settings. You want it in app mode to be controlled by an app. You've also got other functions such as plug and charge, so you can actually just plug the vehicle in and start a charge straight away. Max charger current is set as default to 32 amps, so it'll maximize the charge as much as possible unless the vehicle wants less. If the vehicle requires less, it will automatically downrate that. Next is the indicator brightness. The one here is set at 10%. You can actually set it right the way up to 100 and do various bits in between to either make this indicator brighter or make it dimmer. The next step on there is dynamic load management. So if you've got a CT clamp installed, simply tick that box across and set your home max current size. Once you've set these details, simply hit next. This takes you to the charger itself. With a CT clamp installed, it will show what that CT clamp reading is at the top. It'll then also show you the voltage as well. So you actually know what the voltage is coming into the charger. Once you're happy with these details, hit next again, and that takes you into the configuration for the internet connectivity. Internet connectivity has three sections across the top. You've got Wi-Fi, LAN, and 4G. If you selected one, it will just use that one. However, if you had a LAN connection in there as well, you could select both of them. It would use LAN as priority, and then fall back to Wi-Fi should the LAN connection ever be lost. All you've got to do then, if you're going for Wi-Fi, is input your Wi-Fi details. By deleting what's already in the lens itself, it'll actually show you all the available connections. So this one, we're going to be connecting to our home router, and then we're going to input our password. Once you've inputted the Wi-Fi password, simply scroll down to the bottom and hit Next. Whilst it goes through Next, it will check the configuration of the charger, You'll do a self-check on the charger itself and then check the internet as well. Once it's happy and it's connected to the internet successfully, it'll then reboot and then shortly after, it'll then beep, connect up online and the light will go from yellow to blue to show it's successfully configured onto the app and ready for the customer to use on monitor. Now it's successfully blue, the end user can take the back page of the quick start guide and input their details and add the charger to their account so only they can use it. That is all the configuration from the installer point of view done. The charger's connected online, it's successfully installed, and it's ready for that end user. Join us on the next video when we'll show you how to do that through Monta.